Hi, so I'm one of the um, beta testers of the Pillar Wallet. Um, you can see me, I'm known as Robbie D. Uh, you can see my ugly mug there. And I've been testing the wallet for a few weeks now. And in summary, it's, I mean, this, this wallet could be groundbreaking. Um, it could actually be groundbreaking. Um, I'll go through some of the features. Uh, there are some improvements, I think, uh, not just improvements that need to be made. There are some things that must be made to make this a mainstream uh, wallet or to be the front runner, which I'll go into later. So, uh, if we just have a quick look, this is uh, this is the main home page. Um, you've got different activity transactions you can have a look at there, and you can see so I've just been experimenting sending different cryptos to. Um, hopefully, uh, people won't mind uh, their sort of test profiles being seen here. But it's nice and simple, very clean design. Um, it tells you who you've uh, connected to on the social front there. I'm not quite sure why that's why that's sort of that relevant, but uh, I suppose it's there. I suppose it's just telling you who uh, recent connections are. Uh, when you look at this bottom menu, which is the sort of main the main menus, you've got uh, assets. So it'll tell you what assets you've got. Uh, people who you've connected to, these are other testers that I've connected to, home button which we've just looked at, the market, I mean obviously superb if it's got um, a built-in market there, it, it'll be good, I mean this is this is where Pillar really need to be on top of their game again because you've got other big companies like L, um, LBX for instance, um, Crypto.com which are already ahead of the game, they've already got uh, sort of built-in exchange systems there where you can change fiat into cryptos, you can send cryptos and you can change it back again and in fact LBX which I'll do another review on uh, you can put money from your bank account into there it's all fully uh, governed by financial services uh, so as I say Pillar, Pillar's um, got to be good but we're going to make it good so uh, what else we got we've got chat here now this social function is really what is going to set it aside from other wallets so you can connect to different people chat to them and I think um, this is going to be a, a bit like eToro really is uh, different to a lot of the other trading platforms because of the social um, side of things this this gives you a social side to the wallet which is unique so let's have a look at how you actually send stuff to different things so say for instance I've got uh, 3.6 veritasium so I'll tap that and I want to send one Veritasium to, let's go to uh, Whitefire. So I'm going to send him one Veritasium, put that there, confirm transaction. I'm just going to cover that up if you don't mind. And oh, there you go. I mean, how easy is that? That is superb. Um, the only way that can be improved is that um, we don't think in terms of crypto yet. We think in terms of fiat money. And where cryptos are volatile, if I want to send someone uh, money at this stage in the game, I'm not going to be sending them crypto. I'm going to be sending them a, a, a fiat currency value of crypto. So say, for instance, I wanted to send, um, let's say we're looking at convex. And I want to send them fifty pounds. How do I do that? Well, unfortunately, this is this is difficult because I want to send them fifty pounds, but I don't know how much that is in Veritasium. So if I put one point six forty seven fifty six, one point seven fifty pounds fifty four, one point six eight forty nine, you can see. I mean that that's clumsy. I mean. You should be able to select fifty pounds there, and it allocates that amount of veritasium. That definitely needs to be changed hundred percent because, uh, as I say, we do not think in terms of crypto at the moment. We don't think in terms of send someone a Litecoin or send someone a veritasium. We think in terms of money. So if I want to send fifty pounds worth of veritasium, I don't have a unless I get a calculator out and actually do the calculation, then do it and uh, and then input it. So you need a function there where you can actually change the value in fiat currency that you're sending. That isn't something that is improving things. That is something that is vital for this to function. 
So anyway, so I'm going to put my point across strongly. Uh, let's go back again. Now the other thing that I think is a is a weakness in this wallet to receive to send crypto. We've seen how easy it is, albeit you can't send um, a fiat currency amount. To receive it for some reason, receive is copying and um, pasting crypto addresses. And I really thought that the, the idea of this wallet was to avoid that whole side of things. You're alienating 60% of people that may want to get involved in crypto because they're not interested in copying and pasting addresses. And I've been using crypto for a year and a half. I'm not interested in copying and pasting addresses. I want to tap a person. I want the, um, the software there to tell that should be able to link in with what their address is if they're on the pillar wallet. And I shouldn't have to copy and paste or share addresses. And the other odd, odd thing that I found really hard to sort of get my head around on this one is if I share the address, it's by mail or message. Well, a lot of people on the Pillar Wallet, I suppose, I suppose you would have their um, mobile phone numbers, but I thought the idea was to avoid all of that. So to receive crypto, really what I should be doing is going to home, going to, so say if I look at, uh, let's have a look at, Rose Android, really what I should be doing is tapping Rose Android and I can send tokens, send a message, but why can I not tap receive tokens or receive money? So if I tap receive, put in what I want to receive in a little message, send that off, then Rose Android can then receive that, sort of like a little invoice I suppose is what it is, tap yes pay that invoice I mean, that's what you need. I mean, to me, I just think I'm going to keep banging on about this until someone listens, until someone actually implements this, because uh, it should be as easy to send as receive, and the whole thing should be done in terms of f to bridge the fiat crypto gap. So come on, pillar, pillar developers. Come on, David. Uh, this is one of your testers reaching out to you here and, uh, and, and trying to say, look, I think it's a brilliant project. Um, I really, really want it to work, hence my passion in, in trying to get these points across to you. I think these aren't, these are fundamental things that need to change in the, in the wallet, in my opinion, um, for, for this to work and go mainstream. You are a bit behind already on some of the, some of the other superb projects that are coming out. So, you, you know, to, to, to be the best, to be mainstream, um, these things have to be addressed. So hopefully they will be addressed and I can make another video about it in the future. But I hope I've gone through most of the stuff here. If you tap settings, you put in, I don't really want to show all my personal details there. Um, another great thing, actually, let's end on a positive, why not? If you go to a question mark um, and you look at the different conversations there, and there's a, there's a forum, I know there's not many people on the forum at the moment, but you know the idea is there. But the help on there is superb and it's very quick. Whether whether if this became bigger, you'd have the same, uh, you know, you go have to go, you know, I, I can't stand all these things where you have to open a ticket and we'll get back to you within 24 hours. You you know, I mean, the great thing at the moment is you'll get, you'll get on there and someone will be, I mean, I'm not sure they don't mind seeing this conversation I've been having uh, going on about my usual stuff here.